Hello, YouTube world. Tonight, I like to talk about these uh, perverted laws or the these liberal perverted ways like to force on society, to especially people like us. Now, I can't get over this fact, okay? Here recently, it's become an issue and it shouldn't be an issue. I remember 10 years ago, if you were a guy, you didn't think about going to the women's restroom. It didn't even cross your mind. Now, here recently, it's become an issue. And I read this article on Yahoo News, and I found it kind of funny and amusement. And I a college person, a transgender lady, but all right, this person's a guy. It's a guy in a dress, basically, dress up like a woman, a man dressed in drag. But they call this person a transgender lady. And they try and make this guy, so-called transgender lady, as a hero, because she went to the ladies' bathroom in a state building in North Carolina where they passed that new law. Now I support North Carolina passing that law. I think they did the right thing because whatever your birth certificate says at birth, that's the sex you are. So that's the bathroom you need to go to. So why here recently is becoming an issue. I have you no know, granddaughter and a daughter and a wife. I don't want to go to the bathroom but your perverted man thinks they're a damn woman. To me, these people are mentally deformed. That's what I think of these people. They have mental issues. If you're a man, you want to dress you want to dress like a woman, wear a dress or a skirt, you want to go to the ladies' restroom because you think you're a lady deep down inside, there's something wrong with you. There's something deeply troubled with you. You have issues, you need counseling. But there should be no laws or, or no nothing to force anybody, anytime, anywhere to accept your way of life and accept the fact that you should go to the women's restroom just because how you feel deep down inside. I read some bullshit article on Facebook, the hope is false, about Obama's, uh, Obama is threatening with whole federal funding through schools if they don't force some kind of BS to transgender rights. Come on, get real, okay? First of all, like I said in the past, and I state this again, if you have a penis and your birth certificate says you're a man or you're a male, then you're a man. I don't care if you wear a dress, a skirt, a kill, pants, suit, women's pants, men's pants. I don't care. You're still a man. You still need to go to the men's bathroom. If you're a woman, let's say you have titties and you have a vagina, try to keep it clean here, then you should go to the women's bathroom. You don't know all these liberals forcing, forcing this BS upon us. They don't realize what pain of Pandora's box are opening here. What would uh, prevent some pervert trying to act like a woman just to go into the women's bathroom just to, for a peep? Just to watch women pee, basically. It, it makes no sense why you would encourage something like this. So, in high school, when the kids are at their prime, they, they went through puberty and all this stuff, they're sexually active, more or less. A lot of those kids, especially boys, will try to use this excuse. Hey, I feel like a girl, Can I go to the, uh, so I need to go to the girl's shower room, and they'll go in there just to get a cheap thrill. You don't know what kind of Pandora's box you're opening here, forcing this BS laws upon us. You really don't. These liberals are first forcing, enforcing or enforcing us to accept these perverted people, these perverted ways of society. It's just unreal. It very is. You used to, you get fined for that. I heard a story, this woman who called herself a man, went to the men's shower room in California and the guys were upset about that, naturally so. It's like, what is this lady doing in our shower room? And all you liberals out there saying, GOP war on women, GOP war on women. Don't you think it's like evasion of women's privacy? Do you really think so? Allowing a guy with a penis that happens to wear a dress to go into the men's bathroom just because he feels like a woman deep down inside. Is that kind of violating women's rights, women's rights to privacy on that one as well? What type of decent woman wants to go into a public bathroom where it says women on there, clear, clear as day, with a little sign, a little drink, you know how little some of women, women are, go in that bathroom and she, all, she wants to do is use the bathroom and she's a guy in there. How's it going to make her feel? First of all, it's going to scare her proud a little bit, a little fear in her, a little nervous and thinking, what's this pervert doing in the ladies' bathroom? And rightfully so. They call it women's bathroom for a reason. 
what they call the men's bathroom for a reason. So, YouTuber, what's going to be next? Should we just make the bathrooms unis uh, unisexual bathrooms, or free for all bathrooms then? They either said go to either bathroom they want to. That's what it's coming down to. Let perverts get a cheap thrill. You know, let, let the people and women, in some cases, uh, small children, just they want a little thrill. That's what it's like to come to, that we're pr promoting perverseness, which we shouldn't have, you know. Used to, back in the day, I mean, a guy walked into a women's restroom could be charged with a crime. Now they're going to say, it's okay, basically. You're giving men permission to go ahead to use women's bathroom where it shouldn't be, and vice versa. Okay, I don't want to go to the men's bathroom. I don't want my nephews or any, uh, I say, any boys in my family to go into the men's bathroom or the little boys' room and see some perverted woman in there think that she's a man. The only difference is she's wearing a fucking dildo. The only difference. Why is this becoming an issue where it shouldn't be an issue? This should be plain as light as day. Transgender rights, give me a fucking break. Okay, give me a fucking break. Wherever you are, you are. You have a penis, you have a dick, you're a man. If you have a vagina, if you have a pussy, you're a woman. Okay, if you have breasts, I mean women's breast, and a vagina, you are a woman. Point blank and simple. Point blank and simple. Just because you wear a dildo doesn't make you a man automatically. A natural penis or a natural dick what makes you a fucking man. Point blank and, point blank and period. You know, it's like this. I have large male breasts. I meant that, okay? I still go to the men's bathroom. I have a wife. I have a daughter. I have a granddaughter, okay? Because of my uh, unique, sorry, unique size male breasts, should I ever able to go to the women's bathroom or the little girl's room because I feel like a woman deep down inside? I'll bullshit. I'm a man, and I'll keep using the man's bathroom, the men's bathroom, where they have natural men's urinals in there, okay? And why should we appease these people? Because some perverted guy feels uncomfortable going to the men's room, so she'll feel, or he will feel more comfortable going to the ladies' room. That is just obscene. That's the sanity above extreme. And there's certain people, especially the liberal media, is promoting this nonsense. People like Rachel Meadows. Okay, thinking, this is okay, you know, it's not that person's fault that he feels like a woman. He should be able to go to the women's restroom. Come on. And you're bitching about the GOP war on women, yet you're advocating this pervertedness going on in our society, American society. This perverseness is what caused us to fail. Rome tried this shit. Look what happened then. They failed within themselves. They imploded within. The same thing happened to America right now. We're going to implode within through this nonsense. This should never be an issue. And Obama and the federal should totally stay out of this. They should not withhold federal funds through schools just for some chan gender rights be bullshit. They should, okay? The school should make their own rules and their own policies. It's after the schools make their own rules and their own policies, including the bathroom rights that people have. It's after the schools. It's not up to the federal government. It's up to the states what kind of policies should make for bathrooms, public shelter, whatever have you. It's not up to the federal government. Now, I do know back in the day there used to be unisexual ba uh, bathhouses and bathrooms and stuff like that. It was coming back then, no big deal, okay? But in today's society, okay, and knowing how people are today, they will try to use this BS laws they're trying to pass, or these BS excuses to justify themselves to go into the opposite sex bathroom. In some cases, get a cheap thrill. Some perverted woman try to convince society that she's a man who's outside, will go to the men's bathroom just for a cheap thrill. Same thing with the guy. Who says I'm a I feel like a woman deep down inside? He'll go to the women's bathroom just to get some cheap thrill. They're gonna go and watch a bunch of dudes, women pee and stuff like that. Well, it shouldn't have to be that way. And what what's my daughter or my my wife's gonna explain? To my granddaughter, when they go to the women's restroom, use the restroom, and see some pervert in there standing up peeing, and, and that person thinks it's a lady. How am I gonna explain that? I can't. 
All I'm going to tell them is a sick individual who's confused in the head who needs counseling. That's all I'm going to say to them. Just being honest with you, too. But, but this kind of madness needs to stop. This insanity needs to stop. And people like Rachel Meadows needs to stop uh, supporting this kind of nonsense. If it was up to me if I had any power in this, I would tell everybody to boycott Rachel Meadows. She needs to be boycotted beyond the stream. And don't anybody dare post Rachel Meadows on my Facebook page. I want nothing to do with that woman. Every time I watch her show, I just laugh. Because she just spews out a bunch of nonsense. And I lost all respect for that woman when she starts to support these perverted ideologies that they want to force on society. Come on. Transgender lady was so brave that she went to the women's bathroom in North Carolina and shot her. Oh, give me a break. That's a man in a damn dress or a skirt who's perverted. He went to the women's bathroom to pee. Oh, what a hero. She's no hero or he's no hero. Matter of fact, that's a guy and that person, that guy is definitely not a hero. He's just a fucking pervert. He's a sick in the damn head and he's fucking cows. That's all that person is. Well, YouTube world, thank you for watching. But this level perverted ways has got to stop. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good day and bye-bye.